So yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we got a mega PSA return. I believe 83 cards. And yo, I sent these on the 11th of December and today is 12th of January and they've already arrived. This is just a bulk submission, but it's taken literally a month or less than a month in working days to arrive. Plus you had the Christmas holidays in between New Year's Day in between uh, the holidays, etc. So in that time with the breaks, like it's taken only a month so that's pretty sick for bulk service so yo shout out to psa there uh for the quick turnaround and yo 83 cards kind of some stuff i've just had here that i wanted to send for a minute uh i kind of forgot what i wanted to send but i think majority personal collection i don't have much to grade and sell anymore so we're gonna see what we got in here let's get into it guys if you like psa ace grading returns cgc returns grading returns in general then make sure to like and subscribe because we always do in grading returns and we have a ton of it on the channel but yeah let's get into it guys as you can see here this is just one box full of cards 83 cards in total let's get them all out and reveal them to you guys so here we go guys another psa return 83 cards total got them all out they're not in any sort of order numerical order unfortunately with the certain numbers uh so yeah they're gonna be random unfortunately psa doesn't give it to us in order so i'll put that to the side and we'll get into it right now so let's see we got uh and yeah honestly uh, i do i remember anything that i put in here i can't even remember Okay, we're starting off with a World Championship Festival promo. So this is World 2018. I think I picked this up for like, ooh, like 60 quid. Not too much for English. Uh, I think it's an eight. Ooh, nine, nine. Oh, wow, I'll take that. So as you can see, there's a white specs on the bottom, but a nine on that and English, I'll take that. So yeah, my goal is trying to get like every world in English, I think, eventually. I know that'll be an expensive task, but I think that would be pretty cool in the collection to kind of have. So, yeah, I like that. I like that with the Oricario there. <gasps> this one, guys, this is a fun story. When I started collecting, this card was basically, okay, wait. When I started collecting, uh, I bought a Pikachu collection. It was like 80 cards, a lot of Pikachus. There were some sleeping bangers, especially Japanese promos, which are probably up now. Uh, this was in there as well. They had Pikachu and some Pichu cards. And, yeah, this was just in the back of the binder. It wasn't bad condition. Apart from that, apart from that there, the card is pretty pristine, and I just thought I'd grade it because I've been in the collection for a while, but a seven, guys. I want to sell this, though, but yeah, just an awesome one. I was hoping maybe like an eight on this as well. So I guess eight there. I've got nine, I guess eight here, probably, and then it got seven. But yeah, that is pretty much a big thing, I guess. I thought it was a smaller whitening in my head, but yeah, seven there. It was such a sick card, man. Expedition uh first edition print as well and yeah just such a sick card pichu there unfortunately a seven i did think he was going to be a bit minter than that uh but yo starting this off with some older stuff like that's pretty nice you know okay oh my god i graded my staff collection guys if you don't know i've always loved staff cards i think uh, there's a video of me picking these up back in february 2020 way before covid and stuff like that like I just love staff cards. That's when like the pandemic style, I think. And yeah, I just always love staff card before the hype, uh, etc. Because I thought it was just a cool touch. I have a staff stamp on there. This is the real be my favorite Sword and Shield uh starter. And we got a six. Six. Ah oh, bruh. This is just from my personal collection. No idea why this got a six, but it has a six. I'm hoping we're not gonna get results like this for everything. So yeah, six over here, I guess. So we're gonna have we're gonna have grades all over the place. I don't even know what's in here, guys. Oh, that is awful. Six. There are more of them, so we'll have to find them. I wonder why it's a six, but gem mint ten there, guys. Let's go. This Lugia's not even too expensive. I just had to grade it. Sun and Moon promo, an absolute banger. Is it team up artwork? Ooh. Look at that, guys. I got these out perfectly out of the box. I didn't move any of the slabs, but oh my god, yeah, that's not even coming off, guys. Like, imagine this like a three, I don't know, couple grand card, and you just got a scratch like that, bruh. Like, you can even feel you feel how rough that is compared to here. So yeah, oh, that is awful, awful. Oh, I can't even be asked to regrade that. It's not even that expensive, but what? Got to deal with that now. Yeah, unfortunately, deep scratch on that case. But yeah, it's just encapsulate, really. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, unfortunately, we do get like a little scratch on there. But a very lovely card, nonetheless. 
or we got the Lawson Summer promo. So I'll grade a load more Pikachus to my collection. I think every submission, every of my general submissions where we just grade a bunch of cards, always have a Pikachu. Look at this one. Okay, yeah, we good, we good. Just steaming, no scratch there. 10, let's go, Lawson. Oh, shout out to Lawson. It's like, if you don't, haven't been to Japan, it's like a 7-Eleven. Uh, but yeah, I didn't even know what Lawson was until I went there. And yeah, there was a Lawson literally in front of my hotel and behind my hotel. I was there every day. If I couldn't sleep, I was there behind something. So yeah, shout out to Lawson. Gem Mint 10, Summer Campaign. I, lo I love this holo because it's from the Unbroken Bonds Blister promo. Another awesome promo here, Sun and Moon promo again. This is Jirachi Tohoku. I can't pronounce that, but Pokemon said Tohoku pack. Uh, that Jirachi is just an amazing art. I don't think it had an English equivalent. I might be wrong. Oh, mint 9 there, unfortunately. So yeah, beautiful card. Unfortunately, we got the Mint 9. So yeah, let's go, let's go, guys. Very nice card nonetheless. All right. Oh, guys, I honestly don't remember buying these. They, I was going through my Japanese binder. I must have bought them on eBay or something. And I just totally forgot about it. I was just going through my binder. And let's see what grade we can get, guys. An eight. Okay, it is Japanese. But we do get the eight. Because I know English would be hard to get tens, right? But these didn't look too bad condition. Okay, we got an eight. So we'll put that there. Let's pray they, they at least kept these together. Oh. So I'll put this to the side until we can find the other one so we can put them together. But yeah, Shining Rayquaza from Shining Legends. Yeah, you know I had to pick this up. I think I picked this up cheap when it was cheap. Nine, I think it was down to centering left to right. You can see it there. And so I didn't grade this one sooner because I knew it's not going to be quite a 10 because obviously left to right, very short on that side. Uh, but yeah, nine again. Oh, we're not doing good on 10s, you know, but I've graded a bit of everything from my collection. Like, we got vintage Sky Ridge Pikachu. I sent this off because it does look pretty mint, you know what I mean, for Sky Ridge. It was in the binder collection. You see that mint 9 on a Sky Ridge Pikachu. Uh, so, yeah, I was hoping that could have been a 10. That would be nice. Well, yeah, just a non holo as well. I would love a reverse holo for that. Oh, okay, this is a Greninja Zorak. I bought a bunch of Chinese singles, uh, traditional Chinese, uh, from Hong Kong, and I just picked this one up. Just the only old art I kind of picked up in that collection. Uh, for my collection because I actually don't have an English or Japanese version of this. I do love Zorok and Greninja Tag Team. They look awesome together, but Yeah, left to right centering again. I didn't really watch the centering. I didn't realize how much it kind of knocks things down like heavily right now like, I used to think not that much like it didn't really before I feel but if you watch my um, I do I've got a video coming up guys. It's um, me buying five thousand dollars worth of Poncho Pikachu's uh, and then grading them and you'll see how much that uh, centering does affect grading but yo oh this is the day we finally grade our evolution so evolutions uh obviously i had i think i had a total of 12 i might be wrong might be right but over 10 i had at least i never graded them because they're just super hard cards to get obviously in a psa 10 they're worth over a grand in a psa 9 they're worth maybe 100 to 200 i don't know but not much obviously it's a big premium in a 10 because there's not very many 10s so i never bother grading these because i um the prints i had weren't 10 worthy uh and yeah i've never opened them since the logan paul hype it was never worth opening um evolutions after that hype because Packs are like 2025. Back in the day, I used to buy my Chaos cards for two pound a pack. You can even see a screenshot here. Like, yeah, I never get the hype for evolutions. I had my fun. I I'm glad I got had my fun and opened enough of it before to have 10, 12 Charizards. But oh my god, off the bat with a six chat. Though I say chat, you're watching too much streams, man. But yo, ah, oh, these are all like pack fresh. I don't think I bought any that are in this collection here but yeah since they're part of my personal collection i packed these i'm not really gonna probably sell them okay we got some uh evolutions so yeah unfortunately don't put them all in order man this is so annoying by psa obviously i can go put them in numerical order but God, it's a bit long man but yeah we'll find the rest of them later but jolteon oh art nine nine there okay got a nine pile these are from my personal but i might sell them to be fair Get me 10, let's go Flareon. So I need to see what ones I have and I don't have. I don't think I have the Flareon, so we'll keep that. Oh, another Charizard. This one's off center and eight. A lot better there. A lot better grading. So do we have an eight pile? So we've got six, uh, eights there. So 10, nines, eights, and lower. So come on, let's see what we can get, guys. Oh, yeah. Pretty wild selection. Just stuff that's in the grading pile that I've wanted to grade for a while. 
Gemini 10 on the Vaporeon. We take that, we take that. Uh, I haven't been watching the camera this whole time, so hopefully nothing's been out of focus. Oh, this would be an awesome one. Toys R Us promo. <sighs> we got an eight on it, man. Oh, it's not even any whining on this. I really wonder what it could be. This is pretty nice, to be honest. Honestly, it's a really clean card. Centering doesn't look too bad. Uh, no specs or whining. Maybe surface scratches, something like that. Probably knocked it down to an eight. But yeah, we've got an eight there, unfortunately. Yeah, grading can be tough. Oh, we got uh, Surfing Pikachu. Jetman 10, let's go, finally. Finally some sense, but yeah, grading's tough at the moment, man. I just obviously grade for my collection, and it's one of my favorite things to do, but yeah, sometimes they're not on your side. But yo, Pikachu Tan Tanto promo, a more recent Pikachu promo, Jetman 10 there. So this came with like a hair gel. Uh, you get a pack and a hair gel. I went and bought the lightning hair gel. Thinking that I got the Pikachu guarantee, but you get a pack. So I got ended up getting the Hondoom or something like that. Uh, but yeah, Gemin 10 there will take this. I think this is one of the next Pikachus. Not even next Pikachus to blow. I don't think it will blow, but I think this is such a big, big, big Pikachu card. Like, really sick Pikachu card. Not big, sorry. But a sick Pikachu card. It's a Pikachu holo promo. You got a Pokemon Go stamp. You got the gifts. Like, if you play Pokemon Go, you just, just remember those gifts, right? Like, I'm always sending and opening gifts on my Pokemon Go. If you play the game, I guess Pokemon Go is just a big set for you. But uh, I feel like this is a sleeper. Like, you look at it, compare it to other Pikachu promos. And I think it could be in the future, like, an expensive promo. Like, I say expensive, maybe, like, £100 on a PSA 10. Right now, they're, like, five, six pound card. So, I highly recommend grabbing one of these guys if you haven't got one already. I've just graded one. It's a cheap card, but I wanted to grade one for my collection. But Gem Mint 10 there. Have to try and get, like, every Pikachu promo one day in a 10. Oh, this one. I think this was in the binder. Gemin 10. Let's go. I didn't realize how expensive these were. I got this back when it actually came out. So I didn't realize how expensive it was. So I ended up grading another one. I already had one in the 10. So there's one in the binder. But I love the I love the artwork for the rescue team games. But they actually uh, suck playing. Playing wise, they suck. In my opinion. I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy it. Uh, but I always like the rescue games. Rescue dungeon and all this and that. But... A lot of, oh, as a kid, I've always wanted them, but I never really played them. But yeah, I went and played that Switch one. No, never again. Never again, chat. But yo, Detective Pikachu Reverse and Mint 9. Ooh. Yeah, scratches are on the case. Obviously, Reverse Hollow, so it would stand out if there was there. But yeah, 9. I can see centering a little bit. This again was in the binder. Oh, I love Detective Pikachu cards, man. There was a few promos that I really need in 10, so we'll probably come back to those in the future. All right, we've got Detective Pikachu right now. So Detective Pikachu, gem in 10. Let's go, not a Detective Pikachu, but obviously this is the video game one. That's the movie one. But yeah, gem in 10 on that one. So I got, I kept two, one for Ace, one for PSA. So glad to get gem in 10 with both companies. Oh, this one's a big one. 10, let's go. So yeah, Championship Series 2023. I had to get that graded. So glad that got graded, guys. And yeah, I can't believe this took a month. So big ups to PSA for that. That took only a month to grade. Oh, told you guys this submission is the staff submission literally i've been collecting a ton of stuff i had a huge collection of staff cards before they were hyped i was picking up like every single lot i could on ebay for like five like this is pre pre uh scarlet and violet pre uh vivid voltage like vivid voltage is where staff cards went up right because charizard was selling for a grand or well, the whole pack was selling for like 1.2 with the lugia and charizard in there right so I didn't buy those because those were too expensive because I, I like five, 10 pound stuff. Cause this one probably like 20 quid back then. Metagross, a seven. Yeah, these cards are just hard to grade though. Look at them. Look at the edges. Look at the, the specs. They always have like that, but ugh, I was hoping like eight on this at least. So yeah, we got seven there, but lovely stuff nonetheless. Metagross, my favorite. Ooh, Rainbow Cherries. I'll probably pick this up with Hadders. A nine though. Hadders, you let me down on that one. <laughs> but y'all, let's go. Oh, Lugia. Probably a nine, right? On my centering, yeah. See, unfortunately, I got two nines, I think. I think this is a pretty decent card in a 10. Uh, but, yo, Lugia GX, not bad, not bad. Really nice. The quarters and everything were perfect, just the centering. So, I think, shout out to my boy Nick. I think he's hooking up on a deal on this one. He packed it only last year, which is pretty sick. Obviously, released in 2018. But, yo, Pidgeot EX. I think I've got a nine, so we have to get Redemption now with a 10. Let's go. Gemin 10 there, so I'll take that. I actually love this card. Nice artwork. Pidgeot, obviously. Who doesn't like Pidgeot? Alright, we've got a reverse foil now. Seven. 
This is why I never rush to grade Evolution Charizards and I don't get the hype for it, man. I don't get it, man. But yeah, obviously it's a basic Charizard, but uh, yeah, I just graded it for the Charizard collection. I just know I ain't going to get 9 or 10, so it's not going to be worth it, right? Okay, we got an 8 there. It's decent, but yeah, maybe a 9. Maybe a 9 in one of these. But 10 might be difficult. We got another reverse. Oh, there we go. They finally kept them together. A 9! Let's go! A mint 9. Okay, like I said, a mint 9 is possible, but gem mint 10 is incredibly hard. As you can see, we've got the specs of whitening there. So, yeah, they just come out cut really poor, especially for the hollow res. Yellow border cards, hollow res, they're just not going to be cut the best, right? The full arts, majority of the times, depending on what print run you got, the full arts from evolutions were pretty good. But, yeah, uh, get a 10 in the hollow is very, very low pop. You check all of them, super low pop, guys. Nine again. Okay, I did have some nine ones. But yeah, a lot of these were packed fresh. A few of them packed on the channel as well. Um, was a lot open before the channel started, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I did pack some when I had the channel as well. Oh my god. I'm pretty happy with that. Again, another nine. Like I said, they're not easy tens, but to get nines, I'll take them. Oh, let's go. Like I said, I was buying these when they were... Two pound a pack. When I say two pound a pack, they were two pound a pack on Chaos, but that was like a Black Friday sale. But I was getting them a load of promo pro uh, products. Obviously, you had the Costco in um, 2020, and then there was in Costco. I think previous Costco products 2019 had them as well. Uh, obviously, my local stores had them, just seeing in different products. Many promotional products were the best way to get them. Uh, and yeah, they were just always cheap or always accessible pre logan paul hype but an eight there we'll take an eight i'll take an eight i'm happy we've got some nines that's it that's enough for me but oh it's a nine. Oh, gemming 10 let's go see i was I, I didn't realize i had another one unless i bought i think i bought one actually i bought one on ebay so i'm glad i got another one of these because i got one signed by someone i don't want to mention but he did a signature awful ruined the card and i just sold the card so i didn't have a meeting oh in my collection oh in poland oh i love this card gemming 10 you know i got you now I gotta have that. Let's go. Gem in 10 there, chat. Let's go. One of my favorite staff cards, guys. Oh, right, it's got like stuff all over the card, but oh, I've had these cards for the longest, man. Do not grade staff cards. If you're gonna staff cards, just put them in buying. Obviously, it's a big premium in tens. Oh, I'm probably upset with these grades, man. I should just put a binder page of these like look at this card man i honestly don't know what it could be oh see there so yeah it's got a lip there so i don't know what happened maybe over the years i've owned it just moved around it's always been in a semi-rigid however i'll tell you that uh it just might be the way i've received it or the guy sent it to me when i bought it back in the day uh, I remember I bought a big job lot of them, so not a job lot, but I bought like cleared out one seller, like all his listings, because he had a good deal. Well, back then, this is before the hype, so it was a really good deal compared to the previous prices. But Zapdos, <gasps> yeah, at least at least you got a nine. A nine on Hollow Res are good for me because they are very hard to get. Like vintage cards, it's just hard to get. Like you got a couple specs there, so I would have presumed an eight to get a nine, decent. That was one of my favorites. I regret not getting the Jirachi from Team Up, though. Oh, we got the dogs now. Raikou, nine on the Raikou. Can they, can they at least keep these together? Can they at least keep these together for us? Okay, they did it. Oh, this is one of the brilliant stars ones. So this one's a bit controversial. Uh, well, not controversial. If you, uh, some people just didn't do their research. But with this one, uh, if you didn't know, stores did get, like, the some sets didn't have uh, pre-release promos, like Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, uh, Evolving Skies, to name a few. Uh, a couple sets didn't come with pre-release staff promos. Uh, so, Pokemon ended up giving them staff packs later on down the line. And that's how you can find these sets that didn't have staff promos before with staff promos. They weren't like stolen out of a factory or whatever, as people try to say. Uh, but they were given to stores eventually. In the UK anyways, I don't know, USA or Canada or whatever. But for the UK, staff did get pre-release promos eventually. Uh, and yeah, I, I did pick up some of my favorites, including this Lucario in a mint nine. I'll take that. 
an absolute banger. I think after today, I might go grab some more of these cards, man. I love staff cards. Oh, we got the second half. But yeah, that's staff done. And an eight. So at least we got an eight set there. So Entei and Raikou. I do regret, guys. Uh, I remember this in 2019. I remember it to this day. That means it's haunted me because I missed out on it. But the Groudon Kyoga Japanese. I think one was a 10, one was a 9. And that went for £20 as a set. Those were the prices of 2019 though. But yeah, that one haunts me. Because I would have paid that. I would have bought it. I would have even bidden more. But uh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to bid on it. You know them ones, guys. But yo, let's go, let's go. Two eights there. We'll take that. And boom. Love. Oh, I'm a bit annoyed on some of the sixes there. But never mind, never mind. Okay. Star for a little bit. This one I did pick up a few of. What's wrong with Rillaboo, man? Yeah, I probably got to. Hopefully, I think I've got one more left, right, guys? So I'm hoping you get some good results. But honestly, the card looks like, from my eye, anyways, like eight, nine at least. So there's gonna be an indentation, a dent, a crease, uh, which is really gonna knock it down to that six. Um, yeah, I can't seem to see it though. I can't seem to see it. Wow, six of those, but yeah. Oh, last one. Bruh, what happened there? I have to just regrade one with Ace and just check. Obviously, with Ace grading, you can see the pop report and see why it got that grade. So, I can just regrade one, see why it got that grade. So, I might do that and do a short. So, let me know, chat, if you want to see it. But, yeah, as you can see, these are sequentials as well. 93, 94, 95. But, PSA put in random order when you receive it or submission. But, yeah. I think it's probably going to be a long, I'm just long winded it, but... Honestly, I don't know. So if you guys want to look up the certifications, look at the scans, let me know what you guys think it could be. To get six on all those is pretty harsh because I got these when it came out, like literally pre-release started, staff were selling their cards. I got them straight off the bat and I paid high for them as well at the time high. I'm annoyed with this one. It's one of my favorites. So I'm glad we got some in the nine. Uh, but yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's see what else we can get, guys. Oh, this one I bought off my guy uh pika olo I, I can never pronounce your name bro but this one's a pretty sick card i think i wanted the card of card chest it's from the v John magazine promo gemin 10 you know gemin 10 i love salamance and this hollow goes crazy so yeah this submission is just full of so much randomness so much rare different rarities this stuff is just in my great in my collection like as you can see uh i always try and grade the, the expensive the mo more better stuff first but with these ones, these are all part of my collection, collection pieces for sure. Just obviously, nothing I need to get graded ASAP, but lovely, lovely cards nonetheless. And yeah, hopefully live on this submission. Hopefully inspires you as well. You don't have to collect expensive cards, etc, etc. Like you collect what you like, guys. And hopefully it pays off maybe, but if it's, if it's about value. But for me, if you see, like obviously I sell, I buy, I buy, sell. But if you see my uh, graded slab collection or my card collection in general, so much rubbish there, but because it's more collection, I love it. But an eight on this is pretty. I'll, I'll take an eight on this. This is a 2005. I have no idea what WHF is, but the promo stamp looks sick. I believe EX Emerald uh, Pikachu artwork as well. So yeah, pretty nice card there. We'll take an eight because of the age. I, I'll take that for sure. Ooh, Chinese Arceus Dialga Palkia Gem Mint 10. We'll take that. Shout out to Hadders. You now he's the goat for the Chinese plug. Uh, but ooh. Sabrina Alakazam, Mint 9. You know what? I had this and I thought it looks super, super good, super minty. I thought, why not? Great. I love uh, Alakazam, obviously one of my childhood favorites. So yeah, you can see centering. Apart from centering, the card is immaculate. It is absolutely super clean. So yeah, centering layer down on there. But Mint 9, I love to have some minty vintage in my collection. 1999 there. Uh, oh! This is from Hadders' uh, Rocket uh, single stream at Whatnot. Um, and yeah, it looked pretty clean. One spec there. These were like pack fresh cards he was selling. Uh, and I picked this one because, you know, Weezing's the cheapest one. But Mint 9 Vintage Hollow is actually crazy. So English as well. So that, like, literally, you buy a Rocket pack for... I don't know. What's a Rocket Unlimited pack go for, guys? 150, 200? Uh, probably off there, but unweighed, let's say 200. Um, and you go pack this, 
and I probably paid about five, six pounds for this and whatnot. Uh, so shout out to uh, whatnot. Use the link in the description, guys, for ten pound credit. You could even get this card for free with a ten pound credit. But yeah, you can find some minty singles. I will be doing auctions and singles streams coming soon. I'm waiting on the delivery. We'll get that done, guys. So stay tuned for that. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, this is a beauty. I did buy this. This comes with the Conco Conquest game. Uh, and yeah, I do have the Conquest game sealed with the promo inside, but I did buy another one. Praying this is 10, praying this is 10. Get me 10! Oh, I am happy with that. Because it's, it's a bit long to get nine, and then you have to buy the card again. Like, I don't know how many of these I'll have to buy again. Some promos I'll probably have to buy again and stuff like that. So I'm glad that one got a gem in 10. So thank God. But yeah, I wish I did grade the staff cards earlier so I could see what the grades are. If they were a bit like sixes, I would go rebuy them. But now it's a bit expensive to rebuy. Oh, this one I had since this came out. Mewtwo Strikes Max Charizard, gem in 10. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't grade this sooner, man. I love Japanese promos. Uh, this one was a tin promo in English, but tin promos were ex hard to grade, of course. Uh, but yeah, glad to get our gem in 10 because it'd be a bit long to go back and try to rebuy that to get 10. So yeah, that happens a lot, like in my collection. Oh, I got a nine, eight, six. Oh, let me find another one. But this is black and white Charizard now. We're getting some older Charizards. Uh, black and white, boundaries crossed. Just a hollow rare, but a beautiful card. I think it wasn't bad condition. Eight, nine? Nine on that, I'll take that. Again, I was going through the binder collection. I was like, this ain't half bad, you know. That's great graded. So yeah, pretty nice. Love the black and white hollow. So we'll take that, we'll take that. And again, you probably get it out of the pack fresh and it come out at nine. And we got probably got that card i probably got a card before the hype as well so not expensive Groudon gold star oh i was thinking where did i get this i bought this recently i think i paid 150 200 150 maybe uh so yeah i love Groudon man gold star not the mintiest but it ain't bad it ain't bad for what i prayed as you can see all right so what grades eight would be crazy seven six maybe five unfortunately a five there but yeah, unfortunately a five so it's gonna have a dent as you can see you got a little bit lifting there i'll show you how i'll focus so you can see it uh but yeah a little bit lifting there so yeah, unfortunately i couldn't get a higher grade there but nonetheless just have that in my collection oh, look regardless of the grade that is such a sick card man i did think it could have been a higher grade because look at the back it ain't too bad like you got to, okay i can see yeah you see that so a bit of lipping there as well so that's gonna knock it heavily but the edges i've seen a lot worse like you uh this wasn't a bad copy but yeah just uh dense and stuff so yeah watch out for them dense guys but a five on that one so lowest one today guys is that it lowest one Crystal Guardian Groudon. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite cards. I want to get more EXs in my collection. I've, I've got a few of these to be fair. Uh, but I do want to go in the future, guys. Definitely get more EXs, level Xs, primes, those sort of stuff. And obviously mint conditional, gem mint. Shout out to my guy Kim Pokemon. He's saying gem mint only. But boys, boys and girls, uh, that's out the budget for us. But an eight isn't too bad to be fair. I thought it could be a nine. It didn't look bad, guys. Like, look at this. One spec there, one spec there. As you can see, a couple specs could give it a nine. So probably some surface scratches, maybe, maybe centering. But an eight will take that with PSA. I think I've got an eight already with Ace. Uh, so to get an eight with PSA, that was pretty decent, especially on vintage card. Especially I ain't paying Crystal Guardian pack prices and I bought this raw for like probably 50 quid. Uh, and one of my favorite cards in the set for sure obviously gold star would be nice but one day one day we'll pick up a gold star but yeah Groudon, one of my favorite Groudons, best Groudons for sure oh shout out to yo which i was talking about poncho video earlier these came with the poncho pikachus i bought shout out to finding charizards for the deal again he did throw these in included with the ponchos we got a gem in 10 there so yo let's go let's go and oh not one of those but this one's actually for the selling pile because i have one in my collection already so if we can get a gem in 10, 8, 8, oh I can't see, I don't know if camera can pick it up a little bit signed out, I don't know what's going on there, but it did look pretty clean, maybe some just edge wear, but yeah, this will be selling power, I don't know what 8 will be worth, I'll presume like a 10, because it looked better than my 10 version, maybe, uh, but yeah, I'm going to put our selling power, so just off cam there. Oh, another one for the selling pile. Kangaskhan EX position from Wild Blaze. Obviously, Flash Fire in English. Gem in 10! Holy! I saw this at um, 
I bought this from, what you call it, Trident Cards at uh, MCM Comic Con and I knew it was going to be mint. I knew it was minty, so I thought, let's get by that grade off. I did think maybe nine because just being a bit cautious, I thought, yeah, I'll buy it anyways and grade it. So yeah. Oh, this card is so good, man. I don't want to sell it. Like, I bought it for my, I bought it, I just bought it myself. And I was like, okay, we, we can sell it. We can put it in the selling pile. Literally, here, I think I've got like three cards in the selling pile. So these two and then one more, maybe. Like, there isn't much for the selling pile. Maybe some lower grades will be get sold. But apart from that, but yeah, this one again from selling pile. So, German Tender is a clean, full art area card. We had to get that graded. So, yeah, let's go, let's go. See what else we can go. Go Glaceon. Oh, yeah. So stuff like this will go in the selling pile. So an eight there. Ooh, eight Glaceon. That was for the collection, but an eight. I don't want it. But yo, Kangaskhan, Darkness of Blaze. I remember when Darkness of Blaze previous was going on. I was refreshing the staff page like crazy. Gemin 10. Oh, that hasn't even got one spec on it. And yo, it paid off. Gemin 10 staff. I'll take that. We have a lot more staff to see. So hopefully we'll see them coming. Okay, now Rapid Ash Double Tempest. I bought this alongside Lucario. Lucario is a little bit expensive. Rapid Ash was fairly cheap for what it was, but eight here, unfortunately. But boom, oh, eight. Okay, sweet. At least, at least not seven and below. I'd cry if it's seven below. But Lost Origin, uh, sweet coon. Let's find. I say Lost Origin. Bruh, time flies. Lost Thunder. Sorry, sweet coon and Raikou. There, there is an Entei. From Cosmic Eclipse to go with that set, so hopefully we'll see that soon. We got Pers Persian a nine there. I love the Persian, especially the pre-release artwork. Gotta remember the pre-release artworks are unique to pre-release, which is awesome. Giratina, big one here, an eight. Yeah, we'll take an eight for sure on the Sun and Moon ones. All right, Entei nine. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Look at that with the staff stamps there. Absolute beauties guys i am so surprised the sword and shield out of everything got a six that was actually crazy and the kyoga i'm sad about kyoga but eight here see so yeah, centric's a bit off there so boom eight all right i'll put these back now but yeah we've seen the set now nine nine i'll glad we got two nines there one eight i'll take it i'll take it but oh this is the lucario look oh, do i get the lucario now look at that one that's like you, you mess around with the saturation and stuff in uh, what you call it, Lightroom. But, yo, Lucario Ultra Prism stuff. We've got the brilliant stars. Lucario is just one of my childhood favorites, man. But an 8 there on the Ultra Prism. We'll take that for sure. But, yeah. I want, one, uh, I like child. I was going to mention what stuffs I need. But I don't want to hype them up before you guys buy them all out. But, oh, 7 on this one. So, I'm glad I bought another one. I remember I bought a pack just to take the NT out and I sold the rest uh so yeah that's probably that one i remember because i got this one it wasn't minty it had like, literally whitening in every corner so nine and seven there because they're entes i wouldn't sell them there's a stain in the collection there all right next up oh free soda lady if you watch my arepa video that this is the one from there i tried to sell it raw i just full grade it Ooh. i should have sold it raw chat and eight i don't look too bad to be fair no missing lineman as well. So yeah, I have no idea why this got an eight, but yeah, eight. That's what I mean. The selling pile, but like, we're probably gonna make only one money, which is the gem in ten. Literally, you're only gonna make money on tens these days, unless you got the card dirt cheap. But oh, McDonald's uh, promo gem in ten. I'll take that. I think this was in the binder. I just kept scrolling past it, thinking it wasn't a promo card because I believe it's Roaring Skies in English. Uh, then I, I looked and it was on the promo page, and then. On my in my personal collection binder and it's got the mcdonald's logo there premise number of course xyz and yeah i was like yo how am i not graded that and it looked clean as well so that's why i love going into my binder collections and just picking out this sort of stuff so yeah oh okay we got some classic collection now let's go so i graded all the best cards from classic collection not the whole set like i did with ace so check out the ace video guys if you want to see a proper classic collection return oh mint nine there oh Oh, well, I let it down. All right, bit nine there, unfortunately. So I bought like five, six decks to try and get my the best quality, the best ones. Okay, at least got gem in 10 on the Pikachu because I'll go in the Pikachu collection. Uh, oh, another one of these. Gem in 10, let's go. So having one already, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. I was going to say I sell it, but I don't need the money, man. I don't need the money for those ones at least. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll keep those because it would be nice to sell, but oh, what a bang! It would be nice to sell and recoup some, but yeah, just keep it as, to go with my pairs of Cherizard ponchos. Uh, but Roaring Moon, Gemin 10 there. So let's go, let's go, Gemin 10. All right. Oh, we got the Venusaur. Did I send the starters with these? Mint 9 on the Venu. Not looking good, guys. Uh, this is all that matters. Is this as long as this is a gem in 10? Uh, what it, the other grades can be whatever. I think I've got near enough 10 set with ace. I'll put my ace. No, I'm not gonna put my ace results on the screen. Don't be silly. Go watch my classic collection video with ace grading to see the full grading return. The main ones went to ace, these were just doubles for my collection because I like to collect in twos. Oh, Chinese Pikachu, uh, joyful collection is part of like the new year's kind of pack. A really nice set, gem in 10. Pretty cool traditional Chinese. I was from the traditional Chinese collection I bought. Oh, what? Oh, yo, we got so lucky on the Cherizard there, guys. Wow, imagine Cherizard was a nine as well. I would sell that color, I'll sell the eights, I would sell that PSA set. <laughs> I don't even want it anymore. But yo, let's go, let's go. Espion English. Oh, I packed this at MCM Comic Con. A nine, so yeah, I'll take a nine. I think I have like a six in this that I packed or something. So to get a nine is not bad. Oh, Atari Alt Art Gem in 10. Can't go wrong with the SARs. Try and buy like every SAR. I love SARs, man. All the good ones, I buy them. So, 89. Uh, 89. Wow, oh, I took it. Why am I right? Reading the set number. Iron Valiant there. Not bad. Oh, this one I bought. Yeah, I got no space here. Let's break this up. Only a few cards left, guys, though. But, uh, yeah. Sherazard Hollow from. Um, from Platinum Arceus and Evan of Arceus here. A nine, yo, this card was so minty on eBay. You sure don't buy these sort of cards in the UK because, you know, we got the Japanese plug and stuff. But this card was so, so mint. As you can see, like, I couldn't have passed up on it. It was only like 20 ish as well. So, uh, so a bit undervalued for its condition. The mint one should be valued a bit more because they were played cards in the same price. So I had to pick this up. And yeah, a little swell in the corner as well. Mint 9, I'll take that, I'll take that. Not bad at all. So boom. So yeah, some vintage, mint vintage. So yeah, I bought that locally, so that's not too bad. Oh, this one's an Erica Full Art from Thai. So I think Marie packed this in one of the streams. And yo, this is absolutely crazy. Japanese quality is from Team Up in English. Tag Ball in Japanese. And Double Burst Set A in Thai. And we got a Gem Mint 10 there. So yeah, that is a lovely card to the collection. It's a nice Thai one. So yeah, I think I had to pay Marie for that one. Oh, I still owe her money for that one. Oh, another Mewtwo Go O Art. Gem in 10. So they get two old arts there. We'll take that for sure. Gotta love O Art and a Mewtwo. Even though probably not the best. They could have done better with Mewtwo, but we'll take it nonetheless. And another Thai O Art. I think I bought this from one of my followers, Katie. Shout out to Katie. Always supporting in the streams. Uh pulled, I think I pulled her two of these, she said, and she sold me one. So thank you so much. And the Gem in 10 there as well. So yeah, the crazy variety of a submission here, guys. A bunch of my staff cards. I believe the best of my staff cards out. Uh, we've got vintage, modern, Pikachus, all sorts of stuff. Just kind of stuff in my collection that I just wanted to grade encapsulate. Just so curious what the grade would be. And yeah, as you can see, let's sort these into piles. So tens. Tens, at least we've got quite a few tens in the end. We've got nines here, eights. So, oh no, less than, uh, less than seven here. So a nice selling pile uh but yeah really nice results really nice cards just finding grading these in the collection obviously is expensive to grade you can imagine what 83 cards would cost so this one cost over a grand gbp but yeah guys hopefully you like today's video man i really do enjoy doing these videos and thank you so much to everyone that supports and watches these uh but guys if you're new here make sure to like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace